Is your Xbox One not connecting to Wi-Fi anymore or not connecting to your controllers? If so, uh, this network chip uh, might be the culprit. I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace this network chip on an Xbox One. Um, and it, the repair is fairly easy. We're going to be selling the network card on our website. The link is going to be in the description. So let's start. This repair applies to the original Xbox One S. Um, the prop, the network chip in an Xbox One S is pretty similar and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that one on a later date. But this repair currently uh, applies to the original Xbox One, uh, which was released in 2013, I believe, and they made these all the way into 2016. And some stores are still selling them, but they're being phased out slowly. Um, so yeah, let's start with the repair. We start by removing the top panel here, this black plastic piece. Um, we're going to use a, a blade or a knife, pry it right out, lift, and it'll just come out. It's all, pla it's all plastic tabs, so it should come out easy without too much force. Then we're going to remove the, um, the base for the sync button. It's just a plastic piece. You can slide it out. And like so, it'll just come out. Put that on the side. Now we're going to remove the, the top cover. And we, we can do that by uh, pulling apart the case from the top right over here. And then you can just kind of pull, but be careful. You don't want to use too much force because you could uh, break the ribbon cable at the front. Lift the case up slowly, slowly, because there is a ribbon cable at the front, like I said, that we do not want to damage. It's very, very sensitive. Uh, I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but it's right over here. Let me just make sure you guys can see the cable. Yeah, you can see it. It's right in there. You do not want to mess that cable up. It's very, very sensitive. So we're going to release the um, cable. Technically, you don't have to. I mean, you could just replace the network card right here, uh, but... I, I recommend taking it out just so you, just in case because you don't want to break this thing. So remove the cable uh, and now we can put the, uh, the face plate and the top case assembly on the side here. Uh, you're going to want to release the clips on the face plate and remove it from the top case because we're, that's, we're going to be doing one, we're going to be, we're going to be, uh, these go on better when they're separate. When we're putting it back together, it's going to be easier to do it this way. I'm going to take those apart. So here's the network card. Uh, it sits on the, on the top frame of the console. Uh, it's connected by this cable here. Uh, and there's also a plug uh, that connects it at the bottom. Uh, and uh, we're going to remove these two Torx uh, screws over here. And we're going to also disengage the cable. We're just going to lift and the cable is going to come right out like so. And then we remove the two Torx screws. like so and then we can just lift the network card up like like that put that on the side okay so we're gonna put the new network card in push uh, push down on the connector at the bottom just connects it will easily connect and then we're going to connect the antenna cable Torque screws back in. Okay, um, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the faceplate back on. So, connect the top cover, the back goes in first. And pull out the face plate a little and then push it back in. Like so. And put the C 
sink button base back in and then the top cover back top cover goes back on like so and it's just that easy it took me probably less than 10 minutes I would imagine we're gonna find out when I put the YouTube video together but uh, yeah it's easy as that we're gonna be selling the network card uh, in in the description below so uh, do check us out uh, we also sell other parts for all other game consoles and electronics so check us out at uh, www.fasttech.ca thank you and have a good one